Now that we know how to create hard light by having a smaller size source, when would you use hard light? Well, for me, my favorite use for hard light is a backlight, especially if you've keyed and filled your subject on the front side of their face with soft light, having hard light give them a back or an edge looks really nice. It just gives you a lot of contrast. It makes them sort of jump off the screen. It's a great way to light and approach your scene and subject. Another time you can use hard light to your advantage is to create patterns and textures in your set. Say you're framed up on your subject and behind them there's a pretty boring, uninteresting wall with no set dressing, nothing going on. What you can do is make that interesting with hard light. Instead of just shining a bright light at it, try putting the light outside and sending it through you know, some blinds, maybe sending it through a tree branch, and what's gonna end up happening is the hard light's gonna cast shadows of whatever's in front of it. So those blinds will kind of create a nice rake, the tree branches might play nicely on the wall. You can use you know, hard light to your advantage to sort of send shadows and send things you know, that maybe otherwise wouldn't be there. If you circle back to early 1930s and 40s when like film noir was very big, they'd use hard light all the time to add slashes to walls to really sort of show you where your eye should look or not look. So you can use hard light not just only on your subject, but on how you also light your set as well. I find hard light is best used when you're shooting a dark and moodier scene. When you're dealing with values that are on the lower end of your false color, which we are gonna break down much later on, but say you're lighting a scene that's very moody and intimate, and a lot of your values in your key and your fill are actually feeling a bit under, a quick way to sort of trick the eye or trick the viewer into making the scene not feel muddy and dark is to have a bright source of light in your frame. This can be a bare exposed light bulb, this can be some hard light, essentially raking through the back wall, but this essentially allows there to be a bright source in your image so the darker stuff in the foreground, maybe your actor that you're lighting, doesn't just feel like it's so tonal and so, so uh, dark. Because of all the values in your frame, 